Hi there Sagittarius, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my March 2018 report for you. Okay, so message to my YouTube followers. I'm no longer doing the weekly horoscopes. I know, I've been doing them for a long time, about 12 years. Wasn't an easy decision to make, um, but it was a financial time management decision. So I am going to be doing the monthly horoscopes. I am also uploading content and videos to Steemit and DTube as well. Okay, this is a great system. Um, it costs nothing to join. You can join at Steemit, S-T-E-E-M-I-T.com and then you can access DTube for the videos. Steemit has like articles and content on there and instead of liking you upvote and every time you upvote then the content contributor like myself gets paid in cryptocurrency okay so it's pretty cool um, and it costs you nothing so it's a great way to support your favorite uh, content provider so I do hope to see you along there I will be having some additional videos on there which will only be D to exclusive so video is about what's coming up and tidbits and that so it's quite exciting all right let's talk about exciting let's have a look at what's happening for March okay we had two full moons the first full moon is in on right at the first of the month is in your area of Korea so it's like closing off uh, in some way and opening up in another way um, and at the same time, Venus and Jupiter, I love Venus and Jupiter together, particularly in a train. And that's going to be around your home and family area. Okay, so there's like, so right from the get go, we've got um, like a new start coming and some clarification to do with your career and work and opening up to a new start. And we've got opportunities coming up around your home and family area. There's also a new moon in this home family area, which is a new start, new beginnings around the, the seven, um, well, not around, on the 17th, okay? Depending on where you are in the world, I guess, hey? Um, now, Mercury and Venus are both going to move into your fifth house. This is great for creativity, connections with people, also great for love if you're looking for love and it's terrific time to be able to have discussions and communications with a loved one. However, do it earlier in the month because on the 22nd Mercury will go retrograde. It'll go retrograde for its usual you know, three week period. However, because of the backwards and forwards, it will stay in this area of your chart right through to May. Now the other planet going retrograde on the 8th is Jupiter. Okay, so your ruling planet in the sign before yours. So this first week of the month is sort of pretty dynamic where things can sort of take place, okay? When it's ret retrograde period, it's a good time for planning and getting things organized. Not like things are not going to happen, but with Jupiter in that area, that sign before yours, opens your whole imagination and inspiration and instincts to what can be okay so if you've sort of been settled or there's a, a settling or a conclusion coming with your work then now's going to be the time to really sort of think forward um, and as to okay where do you want to be this time next year or at the end of the year so that's a great planning time. Now Mars is going to leave your sign, hooray, because although it's quite comfortable in the fire sign, um, but it does sort of make you a little bit sort of frantic and overly busy. So it's going to move to the next sign, Capricorn. Your soul is second house. So it's more to do with money. Um, it's a good time for manifestation of money. However, it's also a good time for impulsive spending so and rash decisions. So be careful about, about that. And right at the end of the month, Venus will move into Taurus. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still battling this um, bronchitis. Um, Venus will move into Taurus and there'll be a full moon in Libra. So this is like 
uh, right at the same time to close off the month and for you that the Venus in the Taurus area is great for organization and getting solid foundations down particularly with money and budgeting okay and the full moon is in your area of um, friendships and social engagements and that can sort of give you more clarity about you know what you're doing how your life is balanced and right at the end of this month it's likely you'll be sort of making some changes about rebalancing your life so you can focus on priorities okay so that's a good thing okay so for some general business I do have my daily horoscopes up for syndication right now um, and it's a daily horoscopes that draw people to your site every single day so if you have a website or a friend who ever has a website you can have Jennifer Angel branded daily horoscopes um, every day on your site for less than a hundred dollars a month okay it's a limited time offer so if that's something you're interested in please reach out to me okay love and luck to you I hope you enjoyed the monthly report I will I do plan on making them more extensive when I'm still not coughing and splattering okay <coughs> excuse me and I do hope to see you over at Steemit and uh, DTube bye for now